Okay guys, so you've seen my T-Max before. Well, this one here is new to me. And I'll give you a little bit of a story about it. The onion has nothing to do with it. Anyways, um, that's like adding 50% nitro. But anyways, so a friend of mine who we'll call the crazy European. He's Hungarian, but he's awesome and crazy. Anyway, so he, I hadn't heard from him in a while. And he found me on YouTube that one day and we got to talking. And uh, he contacts me this morning and says, I have junk for you. I'm like thinking, okay, well, what could that possibly be? I left it outside, he says. Okay. Your phone was dead or you're off or something. So anyways, I go outside. I'm looking around. I don't see anything. He messaged me back. Goes, oh, it's by your dumpster. Okay. We'll go walking out there. And that's what was in there. <laughs> A T-Max 3.3. Another T-Max 3.3. And two T-Max 2.5s that are stripped down like this one. So, this right here is my new-to-me T-Max 3.3. Uh, let's have a look under the skirt, shall we? I didn't paint the rims already like that. Actually, it looks good like that, I think. And, uh, so, we got, obviously, a 3.3. I put this pipe on there. I had a plastic one before, which uh, went in the garbage down there where they belong. Because we do not do plastic pipes at the Bug 404. <laughs> but here's the rig. The ass end's blown in it, uh, unfortunately. But that's not a big deal because I have extras right there. And uh, a good friend of mine had mentioned that the E-Revo uh, diff parts, like the crown and pinion or whatever, will fit into the uh, T-Max diffs and make them much, much stronger. So that's what's going to happen when I have the funding. But let's have a look here, shall we? That engine's pretty worn out. But that's okay. We got a crazy green paint job. We got a steel drive shaft there. Some loose screws. And another steel drive shaft right there. Oh yeah, purple parts. Yeah, it just needs to be kind of fixed. And if we look in here, bam, steel drive shafts all the way around. Right there so that's um that's my new rig there and i know the tires are on backwards but um uh, yeah so it's going to make an appearance once in a while when i have the extra funding and uh and uh whatnot to uh, complete said t-max because like i said it doesn't need a whole lot um like all the little throttle linkages and stuff are missing on that one so i'll just rob them off here and transmission parts and whatever but uh that's all easy easy shite and uh, oh yeah so if you guys have a t-max that has um this style of battery pack on it you can order a special um switch harness from traxxas which replaces the one that uses the double a's and you can just plug your truck in and charge it and get rid of the aa battery packs i'll make a post about that that you guys can look at what the part numbers and what you need but uh yeah so at least i can build one out of two which is pretty awesome Oh, it does have a wheelie bar. I wasn't even sure what that was at first. But you can see what the uh, um, original axles look like. They're all those big, crazy plastic ones. and oh, Things are moving. But that's going to be it. So it's almost the same size as my Savage for crying out loud. <laughs> so, anyway. That's, uh, that's the new Riggins there. And there's, like I said, two more uh, 2.5s that are done up like that one which I'm going to donate to uh, to my buddy Richie because obviously he needs extra T-Max parts right now. And, uh, yeah. Anyways, guys. Oh, yeah. That's probably going to sound awesome. As always, thanks for watching. And uh, keep your eyes peeled for more T-Max videos. My other 2.5 T-Max is kind of doing its own thing there for a bit. Parts take forever to get. Anyways, guys. Have a good weekend. Talk to you later. Cheers.